Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here, back again for the Video Effects AVS Video Editor Tutorial Series. I'm on the 7.1 non-activated version, and previously we did the Sapia video, and I'm sure you guys can check that out. And up next we have the old old movie video effect, and it's somewhat similar to the Sapia effect. We're gonna pull out a video here. Let's see what we got here. Let's just pull out this video, just because it has bunches of color to it. So we're gonna go to Video Effects here and pull down the old movie down into our Video Effects line. And you notice right away that it adds the black and white grayscale to it, which takes out all color. So here is the previous color and just turns to black and white. Now it also adds a nice old movie effect. Now if you've seen any of the old movies, it has these jitters and these artifacts are all over the screen. So let's just adjust this so we can compare it. And like all the effects, you can press the edit effect button. And when you open up the old movie effect, it has this. And with the majority of all video effects, you'll notice that it has a mask. Now you got your rectangle, your ellipse, and your customizable polygon to whatever shape you want. For now, we're just going to stick with the none option. And so, actually, I have an idea. Let's just switch it to rectangle and cover only about half of the video screen. So I'm just doing some drags like this. If it'll go, let me just remove this real quick. I apologize. And there we go. So now we can see half crap. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. I'll be right back. Okay. So sorry about that. I was messing with some settings that I shouldn't have had. And okay. Now we're back to it. This is the default settings that you come out with the old movie. And of course we have the rectangle down here, which is I'm just going to have it as as a comparison to show you guys the difference that it makes. So first you can see in the first line here it has the artifact option. The artifact option is just like all those random bumps and random pieces of dust that get caught in the film and stuff. So if you increase that, you'll notice on the screen that more artifacts, like little dust and pieces of string, pop up on the screen. If you decrease it, it's pretty much gone. So let's just increase it all the way so we can see a bunch of artifact in it. And Scratch is the, I believe, it's like, it isn't the movement because that's Jitter. And Jitter is the, like, the kind of self-explanatory. It's the, it's the sudden movements that the video has in it. And Scratch, I believe, is just, uh, I believe it's the lines in the video. I might have to check you up on that, but if you increase Scratch, you can tell that it does in, uh, change the video a lot. So you might have to check me up on that. I know Scratch does change the video, so we're just going to set up all the way to 20. And of course, Jitter makes the video jump around a lot. And you can see it's already shaking a lot when you increase it. When you decrease it, it kind of goes down. And brightness, again, self-explanatory. It's at default is 35. If you increase it all the way, it's pretty much all white. And you can still see the artifact, the scratch, and the jitter if you increase the brightness all the way. The brightness all the way up doesn't actually make the video entirely white. It still has that uh, little hint of gray in there. If you increase it all the way down, it does go all the way to black, but you can still see some of the artifact to it, which is pretty cool if you set it pretty low. But right now, we're just going to set it at default, which is 35. And the contrast is default at 10. And of course, you know what contrast does. You increase it, decrease it, just changes the scale a little bit. So we're just going to leave it at 10 for now, not 4, 10. Okay, so now let's just see. By increasing the artifact, the scratch, and the jitter all the way, let's see how much that changes the video. And you can see, there's a little comparison on the right. You have the old movie style. And on the left, you do not, which is the original movie. So you, you can probably see, it can. you can really edit your videos to really do some cool things with this. Obviously, if you're making like a throwback video, uh, like customizable video in that way. I just change this to none to see how it really affects the video. What's going on there? Alright, so there you have the original film and there you go, you have the old movie video effect over it. As you can tell there is a lot of artifact and a lot of jitter and a lot of scratch going on, which can be somewhat annoying, so you might have to tone that down, depending on your film of course. And so yeah, that's pretty much all about the old movie that you can have. I'm just going to show you the transition real quick because some of these transitions in these video effects are a little bit different. So let's just add a quick fade in and a quick fade out to it. And here's what it looks like when you transition. So when you transition to fade in, um, kind of self-explanatory, the color of the film does go away. And the artifacts scratch kind of fade in slowly. And the jitter also transitions quite nicely to making the video legitimate more. And again, it's kind of the opposite when it fades out. So that is pretty much it for the old old movie video effect. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I would love to help you guys out. And of course, we have tons more video effects to go, so I hope you guys stay tuned and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later.